I thought to do a travel vlog and show you what it feels like to travel in this climate. Hey guys, Tomiwa here. Welcome to my travel vlog. So I'm going to the UK and then obviously you know that we're in Mommy a pandemic. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> you just caught into my intro but I'm gonna continue. So we're in a pandemic and obviously traveling is not the same as business as usual. Mm -hmm. I thought to do a travel vlog and show you what it feels like to travel in this climate. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever a video goes up. Yeah, so come along with me on my travel vlog. so once you buy your travel ticket to the uk you'll be sent a link to this passenger locator form which essentially would ask you to fill in your details your travel details so they'll know where you'll be staying so they'll be sure that you're self-isolating for 14 days after you get to the uk and you'd want to submit this before you get to the airport preferably because they would ask for it in the uk so i did a covid test before i traveled however this is a completely waste of money because ba is not going to ask you for it and i don't think other uk flights are asking for it as well so no need to do a covid test before you travel to the uk unless you've been specifically asked to so this is one of the measures that airport put in place to ensure safety during this COVID period, social distancing stickers, and I couldn't catch it when we're coming in, but then they sprayed or, what do you call it, disinfected my bags when I was entering into the airport. Hello. So we're traveling, we're traveling, sorry, as a tag team. Okay. Myself, my brother and my mom. And the queue is crazy. Crazy. Let me just show you what the queue looks like. So it doesn't matter what level of ticket you buy, everybody's going to stay on this queue. And the queue is long winding all the way to that pink box you can see at the very beginning of this queue. Yeah, that's where the queue gets to. So it's 8.50 I think. And I got here by 6. So that means it took about almost 3 hours to check in. Typically it doesn't take that long. However, COVID, right? Blame COVID for everything. Yeah. This is another thing that they did all around. Yeah. Yet another safety measure. There are stickers everywhere in the queue so as to give people ample space between each other. I'm flying with BA, so this is probably a BA thing. Once you board, you're given this packet that has wipes and a nose mask so i'm keen to see what the experience is like at the airport in the uk as compared to nigeria i'm guessing it'll pretty much be the same with the whole social distancing thing so we've landed in the uk and we're trying to connect to manchester which is where we'll be staying as you can see there's more social distancing paraphernalia everywhere you go just as it was in the nigerian airport as well as hand sanitizers within major, you know, corners. Isn't it ironic how there's social distancing stamps everywhere and like there's so much social distancing paraphernalia, but on the flights, we're all crammed together. Sitting side by side. Sitting side by side. <laughs> I thought they were going to be serious about the social distancing and big up seats. Uh, people that In don't between each money. person. Don't mind them. They're telling me social distancing, but then on the same floor, we're all crammed on the same flight. We're not ready. Mm -hmm. I got in today and I have spent the last 31 hour like settling in and unpacking my stuff. I probably should have shown you whilst I was doing that, but um, I forgot. Yeah, so I decided to vlog what I get up to every day of my quarantine i'm gonna be quarantined for 14 days so this is day one you can check my last two videos for what i got up to doing my quarantine however it's time to return back to nigeria and i had to do a covid test now i didn't show you guys the process because i showed you in my last video so you can check 
out for that but i had to do a covid test and make sure i get a negative result 48 hours before i board if not i will not be allowed to board the airplane as i will be asked at the airport you're also going to be asked to upload this negative result on this passenger pre-boarding health declaration and screening form on the ncdc website so yes before you return to nigeria you're going to be asked to fill this form which is pretty much also like a locator form they want to know where you'll be staying in nigeria because you're technically supposed to isolate when you get back to nigeria yeah and then you're supposed to make payment via this website for a covid test to be done seven or 14 days when you get into nigeria and it's off back home to nigeria we go so now we're back in nigeria we're going to encounter two stops the first stop is this queue leading up to the ncdc personnels who are going to check that you have actually made payments to do the covid test seven days or is it 14 days after you get to nigeria and then over there they're going to take your screening of your um, temperature and if you haven't paid for the covid test in nigeria at this point they're going to require you to pay now once you're done with the ncdc officials it's pretty much the regular queue leading up to immigration which is a lot slower than usual because of you know covid protocols of course so this took maybe an hour and a half to get to immigration guess who is finally finally back to nigeria you're right me so i just got in and whoosh it was cray cray at the airport man so much drama it took literally two hours between the time we landed till the time i got out it was intense but thankfully all that is over and done with and i have shared with you everything you need to know about traveling to the uk traveling to and from the uk this pandemic season thank you so much i hope this video was useful to anybody that needs this information and i'll see you at my next video